Hi, Jamie Lenderman here, research manager at Omdia. Today I am at SCTE Cable Tech Expo 2023 in Denver, Colorado. I'm here at the Siena booth. Joined with me is Fernando Villaruel, the chief architect, as well as Ed Boyd, the vice president of Pawn R&D. How are you both doing today? Doing good, Jamie. Good. Right. Thank you. So Pawn is an exciting topic at SCTE this year. Tangig Pawn is top of mind, but today we are talking about 25 gig pawn. So 25 GS pawn, I should say. So why 25 GS pawn? So uh, very interesting, Jamie, the, the dynamic in the industry right now is uh, certainly around services that can deliver 10 gig. And of course, Doxus can do that. And there are 10 gig pawn solutions that are doing that actively in rural cases uh, and such. But in mass, for the cable space as it transitions beyond 10 gig, what happens? And the proposition we have is the right answer for that is 25 gig GS. It uh, could very well be the inflection point for all of cable as it goes to pawn. And there are some key reasons uh, as to why that happens. And our proposition here is within a demo that we're presenting that has an overlay of 10 gig and 25 gig uh, GS pawn. And so, Right now, 10, 10 gig pawn is the, the active rollout. So when we're talking about moving towards 25 gig, how is that from an operator standpoint? What do they need to do when thinking about the future and moving towards a new speed? 25 gig pawn can be used in two ways. You can use it as an overlay on top of your 10 gig pawn to give you more bandwidth. So you could add 10 gig services on that same fiber plan or uh, as a higher bandwidth base platform to give higher bandwidth residential services or enterprise services across uh, your network. So the idea is that you can run 10 gig pawn and 25 GS pawn over the, over the, same, over the same port. It, exactly, it, they'll coexist on the same fiber plant and allow you to uh, uh, selectively choose which type of ONU will be on that uh, customer site. And so with uh, the micro OLT solution, how is that different than say what we've seen traditionally in a pawn architecture? So what's, uh, what's really interesting here is that as the industry has built out DAA, they've done it on an ethernet underlay, right? And so there is a ubiquitous base on how to build our solutions not only DOCSIS and with remote FI, but also PON. Uh, so on the practical nature, what you typically want to be able to do with a world that is full of switches is to have pluggable solutions. And so uh, we have an example here. You would, the micro OLT fits into the cable deployments of PON with the, within the existing switches that are, uh, or would be there already per DAA, right? And so, the natural transition from a 10 gig micro plug, which is something we looked at the show a lot last year, is uh, the next transition that is ethernet friendly, which is 25 gig, right? So most 10 gig ports are also 25 gig ports, which means that you can selectively deploy a 10 gig OLT or a 25 gig OLT in a granular manner uh, as needed. And so that's, it's kind of cookie, cookie cutter, perfectly made, for where the cable industry is at right now and where we can progress to. And so could you talk a bit about how your solution's open and scalable? Absolutely. Uh, the Sienna solution is built around uh, Ethernet switch ports. The, the pawn is isolated to just the plug and then a management software that can exist anywhere in the network. So that allows you to build out your ethernet network, your switching network to whatever bandwidth you require using standard ethernet backhaul. Um, and then once you're ready, uh, upgrade any of those ports to higher speed. So it allows you to choose the, the different pawn technologies uh, in, in, at, at your leisure. This, this demo, what's very unique about this demo is that the 10 gig pawn that we're running is the IEEE EPON. And the 25 gig pawn that we're running is the 25 gig 
MSA ITU pond. So those are running under the same management system. So we give not only the flexibility on a port by port basis to choose speed, but you can also use the two different standards under the same management system. Could you talk a little bit about this solution and say like a rule scenario or maybe an outdoor, you know, outdoor um, scenario? Yeah. So what's interesting about, what's interesting and unique about the cable space and our active uh, inclusion and transition to PON is that we are using the outside plant assets and we are creating a world of remote OLTs, basically. And these remote OLTs can be in dense populated regions but can also extend into rural areas, right? Uh, and so, for example, a remote OLT of various number of ports can have uh, live in the outside plant, live remotely, and what makes it unique in the rural case is that if you pair that capability with a um, long distance backhaul capability, then you have a solution that wins. And for the backhaul capability, the industry has also been working on uh, coherent uh, solutions at 100 gig that can backhaul those distances and large numbers of capacity as needed. And so for example, the remote switches that are usable in uh, in the rural case, and even in some um, uh, dense populated cases are the ones that have the switch capability that can do 10 or 25 gig OLTs on the client side, and on the backhaul side, or on the networking side, they can do 10 or 25 or 100 gig coherent, which allows you to get those long distances and or the capacity. And of course, the key thing is, you don't have to do that day one you can grow into that capacity as needed, right? And so that's, that's the other, I think, item that is worth noting is in the, in the world of cable, we have had outside plan solutions that have lasted decades. And we have the operational cycles that are trained to uh, service them in long periods of times. And there's no reason why as we go to pond that that can't still be the case. And so we want platforms that can scale from 10 gig into 25 gig pond, from 10 gig backhaul up to 100 gig backhaul uh, as needed. So when talking about these advanced solutions and, and what we're future proofing for tomorrow, the idea of a robust ecosystem comes to mind. Um, can you talk a bit about that ecosystem and how strong it is and how it's growing? 25 gig pond is a, uh, is essentially a speed up of 10 gig pond. Um, so the ecosystem of 10 gig pond exists already. Um, and it, it's just a natural evolution. Uh, the optical components are available now. Um, as you can see here, we're starting to demonstrate the Mac and the other components and, and others are also demonstrating it. Uh, we've done some IOP testing already to show interoperability between us and other vendors. So we see a very healthy ecosystem building on the 25 gig standard, and it will have multiple vendors and a, and a large base, we believe. Well, you, your demo is available in your booth here at Cable Tech Expo. And so uh, I welcome uh, anyone to come on down, have a conversation. Um, thank you very much for your time today uh, and uh, wishing you a good rest of your show. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you. Really appreciate it.